In this demonstration, I want to show you how easy it is to create uh, an XPRL table link base um, by extending an existing XPRL taxonomy. For this example, I've uh, downloaded uh, a recent file from, from Apple computer, from the ACC uh, ITCA database, and I've opened the XPRL instance document as well as the taxonomy here in XML Spy, and as you can see, both of them are valid. So if you want to extend uh, that taxonomy as an example by adding a table link base, all we have to do is we have to click on the table tab here in XML Spy and start creating a new table. So we'll say add a new table here and we will um, then specify uh, how that table is going to look like. First of all, we should probably add a label. So what we're going to do here as a starting point is a simple statement of financial position and so we need uh, a couple of breakdowns here in this table first of all we'll add a new breakdown for the x-axis so we'll pick the x-axis here and uh, for this particular first breakdown we're going to um, add a new aspect node and the aspect node that we're going to break it down by is going to be the period on the x-axis. So all the periods will be here along the x-axis as we build this table. Um, secondly, we're going to add another breakdown for the y-axis. And for this one, we want to actually um, create a concept relationship node. Now, what uh, arc role uh, we're going to pick depends a little bit on your particular application but in this case since we want to just model uh, the existing statement of financial position we're going to pick the arc role parent child and now we have to specify what link role we want to take so we'll pick the URI and in this particular case the link role we're going to pick is going to be a statement of financial position classified there we go and we also need to uh, specify a source. So we'll add a source which is going to be obviously US gap statement line items. Statement, whoops, statement line items. There you go. Now the axis here is going to be uh, the value of the descendant and last but not least we need to specify how deep we want this nested so on the generations we can say we want for example two generations or the default value will be zero generations okay and this should theoretically be everything except that we have to save this taxonomy there we go because this actually creates our table link base. So once we've saved this taxonomy modification, you can now see here in our preview window um, the table that we've created. Um, and if you wanted to uh, specify a different value for generations, for example, only two generations, you would see that it's only broken down here by two levels, whereas with zero as the default or three generations, you get it up to the next level of breakdown. So that's the definition of a table uh, link base in XML Spy. And now, after we've saved this taxonomy modification, we can go back to our XPRL instance document and actually generate that table. And at the moment, we only have one table here uh, available for generation because we only defined one table. And here is your uh, preview of the XPRL uh, table that we've created from our instance document based on our table link base. Um, obviously, I haven't put any effort yet in formatting or any of the other details. And there you have it, a very quick application of how you extend an XPRL taxonomy to add table link base support in Alto XML Spy. Thank you.